PR, Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Tween and Middle School for Life, produced in association with Akathemia University TV, a project of Akathemia University, open and free education and knowledge. Akathemia University TV and Hawaii Tea House TV are a part of Cyborg Alpha TV Network, Experimental TV. Well, I offloaded another file, uh, another episode of the vlog up to uh, uh, to uh, uh, the TV channel. There, I announced that there are going to be some changes to the TV channel. Uh, things are growing, things are expanding, so... Uh, Oh, we're moving on with the experiment uh, for Cyborg, Cyborg Alpha TV Network, which is an experimental TV network, uh, and uh, so things are kind of shaping up. Anyways, it's 21 hours and 36 minutes into the 26th day of, uh, I think it's the 26th day. Yeah, that's what, yeah, because the 25th was Saturday, so today is the 26th day, the 26th day of, uh, of December, so... There we are. <laughs> the time and date stamp is always important because you, 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 when you're editing, you need to know where you are, and this gives you an idea of where you are. It also, uh, it's also proper in any log or vlog, uh, or even a diary or journal, particularly if you're a researcher or something along those lines, uh, to know. When you made the entry, so this is this is the the this is the announcement of when the entry is. This is the if you wrote out a journal, you would write in the date and time as to when you're putting down the particular point or the particular note or whatever. Uh, and that's what this is. That's the the date and time is your date and time stamp for this entry into the journal into our life as cyber Gava particularly. And this is the notebook. These are the notebooks. The notebook contains the notes. And this is being noted in the title as well. The the the, the shift is, the title has shifted a bit to reflect that these are the notes. Now that we have the verbal essays, uh, you have to reflect that these are the notes. So that's been done. Uh, I'm working on my new tablet, uh, expanding out uh, how the notebook is going to spread across the various different tablets. Uh, I actually got. Uh, I can actually do this now. Bring it in a little bit. You can hear some of the issues that I have, and it's um, it's my new music studio. There we go. Let's bring it up here. Uh, not screen recorder. Open camera. I think you can hear it a little bit here. So that's a drum kit for for the uh, for the uh, new system, along with the piano. I'm working on the I'm working on the recording system. This is a little distorted, so I do have to work on the sound quality. So I'll, let me get it here again. The drums now. So that's the work I've been doing the last two days, uh, last night and this morning. Uh, I didn't finish till six, seven o'clock in the morning. Then I ended up going to bed. Uh, went to my parents' house uh, for some dinner. Uh, got back around eight o'clock. Uh, watched the Yaoi vlogs. I went by the Yaoi vlogs uh, to to see what they were doing. Uh, from there, I went to the Leroy's, and now I'm heading over to uh, Kesley Jade's uh, channel. 
to see what she's up to because there's something on the uh, on here is celebrating my 18th birthday that I haven't seen yet. So we'll go over there and sort of see how things end up working out. Anyways, uh, that's sort of where we are right now. This is how things are done. And uh, the only thing I was sort of mentioning, I was talking to my parents about the whole situation that's going on. People are just going ballistic. But this is what things are designed for. That it, the whole issues that are that people are being pushed into is this whole concept known as the Hegelian dialectic. It is a it is a concept that is that is well within gnosis in terms of the pagan side of things, and it is the understanding that in order to create progress, you have to have a conflict. The more conflict you have between one side or the other, and this is what you can sort of see this in chess with the black and white. Uh, the two the battle between the two produces uh, the black and the white. The black and the white are, are good and bad, good and evil if you will, and as they fight it out, uh, progress occurs uh, because of a conflict between one idea and its opposing idea. This is what we're seeing here. We're seeing these battle being played, the battles being played out, and you get the battles to sort of uh, occur because you create, one, the fear, and once you create the fear, you need to create an anger, and the anger itself won't actually won't actually unleash itself unless, of course, you create an attitude where the side that is battling it out believes they're the ultimate right and they have the right to do to tell other people what to do. Of course, as soon as you tell someone else what to do and what they can and cannot do, that immediately sets up the conflict because the other person is going to resist, and as the person resists, you now have the sort of the conditions for war. You have the conditions for violent conflict. And the successor of the two, the, the, the outcome, which is known as the synthesis, uh, is what is called progress. And this is something that progressives are tra trained to understand. This is how, when they are trained, it is like a barking dog or a barking seal or any animal in a circus. They're trained. It's not about thought. It's about it's about reactions. How you behave in a particular situation, and their behavior is programmed. So, there's and again, when you're dealing with someone who is programmed, there's no way to stop it. There's no you just sort of back up, you back away, and you find another avenue or, or another place to go that they aren't there. You know. Because what happens is as soon as you're there, that person's going to start battling. There's going to be warfare. And it's because this person has that drive. They're driven to do this by their own sense of self, by their own sense of self-righteousness, by their own anger, by their own fear itself. And then what happens is if they do this enough to other people, they'll finally eventually find themselves isolated. The more isolated they feel, the more angry they're going to get, the more afraid they're going to get. And the more violent, the more more aggressive they're going to become. And that's what we see. We see as people are, are pushed into corners, as they are backed into various different positions, whether they do this themselves or are pushed by others, it doesn't end. It, it, it gets worse. It gets into a situation where now this is where the situation becomes violent. If there's no way out, if someone is trapped, and this is any animal who's trapped in a particular area where they're afraid and have to defend themselves, this is when animals attack. And the behavior is the exact same thing. So, as I said before, we're not looking at politics. We're looking at behavior. How do people behave? How do you get into a situation, a behavioral situation, where you have violence? And this, the behavioral situations include war. How do you get into a war situation, which is a behavior in which a person feels that they are justified to go attack and kill another person? There's a whole bit of psychology to this. There is an observation, there is a science to the behavior. And unless we understand this, we're not going to be able to correct the path that we're on in order that, that leads us to war. If you want a less violent war, uh, a less violent war world, and less war in the world, then you have to figure out why do people get into the situations where they have to go to war? How do you defuse this, let's say, bomb? Right? War is a bomb, it's going to go off. You want to 
diffuse it. You don't want the war to happen. You've got to figure out a way, in terms of the person's behavior, how to diffuse the situation, how to release the anger, how to release the fear, without it being violent or dangerous. And this is a long-term process. It's not something that happens overnight. Uh, but it's also something that's uh, quite interesting, and there's a lot out there to study, but again, it's not going to be in any textbook, because a large chunk of the things, anything that's classified as potential warfare, is all hidden. It's, it's, it's not allowed out, so you have a lot of distraction that you have to sort of work through. Anyways, that's it for this transition, and I'm going to head over to uh, Kesley Jade's to see uh, what she's up to. Well, I'm trying to keep up with my vlogging and uh, the particularly the posting. I'm about uh, 20 days out from uh, the uh, current date, uh, so I just finished editing the vlog for the for December fin 20 December 5th uh, to the 7th. And it is 21 hours and 4 minutes into the 27th day of uh, December. Uh, people are still in their Christmas hangover. Uh, there's also a snowstorm outside that has kind of stalled everything. I like <laughs> snow days. I like snow days. And I like sick days to some degree because things slow down to an absolute halt. And that means you can take a more leisurely day around to do just about, well, I guess things done. This is what I was talking about before, about the bare minimum. The efficiency model that you choose or choose to work on will determine how much energy you need to have in order to get something done. On the bare minimum days where you just want to coast, you don't really want to do anything, just simply, you're already in motion. You don't need to push any harder, so you just coast. And this is sort of what Carly's into now. When men think she's coasting, she's, she's already put the effort in. She doesn't need to really, in, in many ways, do much more than the bare minimum until she decides what, where she wants to go next. And so in their coasting percent, uh, mode, you have motion. You're not motionless and not doing, not, 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 you're not, but you're not going anywhere. It's just you're not putting in the effort that you typically would be if you wanted to push ahead to something new. Uh, and so what happens now is Carly has got, a, has got a, probably a couple of years to decide where she wants to go next. Uh, and so she, all she has to do for the next few, next couple of years, we'll see what happens. She might just decide to do more or, 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 you know, whatever her decisions are over the, as she finishes her senior year, that's really going to determine... Uh, where she's going to end up heading out, uh, what she's going to do with her life, and uh, what will happen to YouTube in terms of her uh, existence on YouTube. And that will, in many cases, determine what happens to our family nest because they're kind of, she, uh, our family nest kind of, in many ways, depends on Carly. Candy's a nice person. I don't say she's not a nice person, but a large chunk of her views, the majority of her views, come from Carly. When Carly is in the video, the views go up. When she's not in the video, she's just uh, Car uh, Candy and uh, her husband Ken, or even just Candy by herself, the views go down. You can sort of, this is consistent. Uh, so Carly is key to our family nest. And then this is the way it is when I was watching the Christmas vlogs. Uh, they were having Christmas. It was, it was, uh, and this is true for uh, Asha and, and, and Chase. Ash is the primary vlogger. She's the one pushing the vlog for it. And it's typically because girls tend to be more social. So uh, when they had the uh, Christmas uh, video, and they were doing their Christmas day to get, uh, or the preparations for Christmas, uh, they were making cookies. It was the three It was the three girls together. It was uh, Asha, Carly, and Candy. And they had a conversation. Guys, when they were particularly in their thing, when they are watching football or playing a, a video game or something like that. There's no conversation. There really isn't a conversation between guys. So you sit there basically watching one person play. It's, it's like watching, it's like watching, in many cases, uh, Twitch uh, on a channel where there's typically guys and there's not much of a discussion going on. It's just simply comments here and there and that's about it. 
uh, with, uh, with uh, girls, with women, there are t there's typically a more social environment. There's more of a conversation going on. Even even it doesn't have to be have to be in depth, but there is a conversation that's uh, sort of going on that they're aware of, and you sort of uh, you get as an audience to, to, be, to sort of participate in this uh, more than you would with guys. And this is why a, a girl's channel is typically more popular than a guy's channel is. Uh, And with vloggers, and this the exception would be Yali vlogs, most of your vloggers are women, because it's the conversation, uh, and it's their perspective on how. To, this is why a haul is important. Showing what you got for for a gift, showing what you got when you went shopping, showing off the different clothing, and all this little bit. These are things that that, that women, that girls like to do, and so if it's their if it's their vlog, then you're, this is what you're going to see. And so in this case here, this is where Candy's channel, our family, and that's really thrives. Without the other girls there, without Asha or Carly, there's no conversation. The conversa conversation dies off. And it becomes flat. And you see this with the, with the, with the audience, with the, with the views, the number of people who viewed the video. You look at the views rather than the subscription. The number of people who viewed a particular video and how popular that video is in terms of, uh, of the views often determines which direction is the best direction. And the best direction seems to be a combination of either Car uh, of Candy and Asha, that's the, not, not going to be the, uh, the daughter-in-law, uh, eventually. Their boyfriend, Chase and Asha, both boyfriend and girlfriend, but they're living together, they have the same house, and one would assume that they're moving in that direction. And the other is uh, Carly and Candy. That's how our family nest began. It was Carly and Candy, and that seems to be uh, the sort of the main combination. Of course, Char Carly has her own challenge. So as long as she does, it, it remains consistently. Even with our family nest, uh, she's doing okay. The issue in, on Allie's side now that she's become a princess, there's almost no communication from her. I don't see her. I've checked her, her uh, Instagram. There's no, not much there. Uh, she hasn't vlogged in months on her uh, on her channel. She appears occasionally, but for brief moments, uh, in the Yami Vlogs channel. And the Yami Vlog channel is kind of an exception. A lot, a lot like Clintus. Clintus was an exception to the rule. And same thing with the Yami Vlogs. The Yami Vlogs and Clintus TV. And Clintus TV is more or less gone now. Uh, he's gone off to Twitch, and that's where he seems to be most of it, his effort is there. Uh, but the, those two vlogs that, that I'm mentioning now, those were guys who were vlogging. They had good content, they had good conversation, they really kept the, 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 the focus was in the family dynamic. They were able to keep the videos co cohesive enough that they were able to show the family dynamic. Uh, and so, this is sort of the case here. But Yali Vlogs really wasn't dependent on, on Allie as much. Uh, she was popular in the videos. This is how she was able to set up her own channel. But as she got older and sort of heading off towards Disney, the, becoming a Disney princess, her interest in YouTube dropped off and she's now focused almost solely on uh, being the Disney princess now. And that's, she got in, she was able to get a part, one of the, become one of the cast members in California, so she's heading off to California, but there's been no mention of it, and she appears briefly in, in the vlogs. Uh, if she had appeared in more of the vlogs, I think that would be a better thing, but, you know, everyone has to make their own choices, everyone has to sort of be where they want to be in life, even if later on they sort of regret that and say, I should have done this. Uh, but sometimes you have to make that decision, sometimes you have to make the decision to go off in one direction or the other and sort of say, okay, well, if I miss out, then I miss out. Uh, and this is sort of what what what, what uh, Allie is doing. And it said, "I wish her luck in being a Disney president." Con sort of congratulate congratulations. I think that would be a, it was a great Christmas gift that she was able that occurred around the Christmas Christmas time. It is a great gift for uh, Christmas gift for her. Uh, let's say from Santa. Uh, 
uh, to become a Disney princess. So, anyways, uh, as I say, if you believe in miracles, then around Christmas time, this was her uh, Allie's Christmas miracle would have been uh, 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 becoming a Disney princess. Because before then, the rules were blocked, and they were telling her six, telling her six months out that maybe maybe she'd be able to apply again. But she was determined, and in December she was it was announced, and she found out that. Uh, she became a, she was accepted as a, as a Disney princess. So, this is her Christmas miracle. And like, so congratulations, Allie, and, and Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to everyone who's celebrating on the 25th. Uh, there is still more Christmas to come for me. This is why the, the vlog message will continue. Uh, we celebrate on uh, the Eastern uh, Christmas, uh, which is on the 7th. And we continue because we still have the 12 days of Christmas. Uh, and this is not the Advent, this is uh, something afterwards. The 12 days of Christmas takes you to the baptism of Christ. Uh, what they call Forta, or the Illumination. And that ends on basically the 20th, 19th and 20th. Uh, and then I add in uh, a couple more, a couple of uh, about a week or so to get us to, get us to February 1st because we have the Christmas hangover. <laughs> so. Uh, and then we have just a month left till, until uh, we start up the uh, season for, for Passover, for, for Pascha, or what, the, what people call Easter. Uh, so anyways, I think I'm going to leave that here for now. It's uh, been enough time, and I'm going to go back to uh, my meditation and uh, continue on with, with the uh, YouTube stroll. Uh, as I'm going to be going to Keshley Jade. I just left, for, left uh, the Leroy's. And so I'm heading over to Cashley Jade's right, Jade's right now. We are Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Tween and Middle School for Life, produced in association with Academia University TV, a project of Academia University, open and free education and knowledge. Academia University TV and the YT House TV are a part of Cyborg Alpha TV Network, Experimental TV.